Hello all, today I'm answering the question, how much money do I need to buy a house in the Philadelphia area? Welcome back everybody to our channel. Thanks so much for stopping back. I'm Gregory Martyr, your local real estate expert here in the greater Philadelphia area. We got you covered in the city and out of the city. If you like these videos, hit that comment button, click that subscribe button, click the bell notification. You can click a text and click an email and call us anytime. We're available to help and happy to do it. But let's get started on today's video. How much money do I need to buy a house in Philadelphia? Hmm, it's a great question, but let's get started. All right, so how much money do you need? So we've talked a lot about price points in different areas, and please check out our videos. We have a lot of videos. We do a ton of great videos on the Philadelphia area, the city of Philadelphia. So I won't focus too much on price points today, but how much money, how much cash, how much cash money do you need to actually buy a house? So in the Philadelphia area, which is great, now there's not a ton of spots in the city per se, but outside of the city and not far within even about a 20 minute drive, zero. That is right, you heard it here, zero dollars and zero cents. Now you have to have some common sense, but you literally need no money at all. There are several programs around. One that comes to mind is a USDA program. Yes, that's the United States Department of Agriculture. Believe it or not, they got a really cool program and it's zero money down. Zero down, you can borrow all the money that you need to buy a house. Doesn't work in all parts of the city, but it doesn't also work in all parts of outside of the city, but you can get a great place within a reasonable distance of Philadelphia and parts of the city as well. So zero dollars and zero cents, starting at zero. Now, the city itself has a ton of really great grant programs, which could also mean, yes, you thought of it, zero dollars. That's right, zero. Now, there's a lot of different stipulations having to do with the grants, and we'll put the link below. You can call directly to the grant office just to get the most up-to-date information. A lot of it's based on income and what parts of the city that you're gonna be using. You're not beholden to use any lender or any real estate agent, although I would highly advise you call us. Hint, hint, wink, wink. There's a ton of great grant options both in the city and out of the city. A lot of them are connected with the housing authorities, but a lot of them are just local banks and national banks that are putting money into our cities. The city has grant programs. There's just so much to offer. We'll put the link below in their contact information, but hit us up anytime. Shoot me a text or send me an email or you can send a letter. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. So as we go up the scale and how much money do I need to buy a house, a general rule of thumb, if you have about 4%, or 5%, let's say somewhere between three and 5%, you can buy a house. You can run the gamut. You could get a, even a little bit of a distressed house, or really you could pick anywhere in the city and outside of the city with about three and a half percent of the price of the house. Now that's the FHA loan that I'm describing. There's also a conventional loan with 3% down. And there are so many different loans your head could spin. And my head spins often regarding these just to keep on top of them. But for the most up-to-date and accurate information, again, give us a call or I can put you in touch with one of our great lenders or we'll put their link below too. But a good rule of thumb, three and a half percent. Now I usually round that up to 4%. This way it's just kind of easy math. You wanna buy a $200,000 house? You need six, oh, no, just kidding. Just making sure you were listening. You need $8,000, cash money. Now it doesn't literally have to be a bag of cash in your hand, but it has to be accessible to you. Now what does that mean, accessible? Hmm, you could get a gift of this money. That's right, hey mom, hey dad, hey friend, hey brother, hey stranger, you wanna give me a gift? You're buying a house. That's right. So how much money do you need? Zero to three and a half percent. Now, of course, the more money you put down, the stronger position you put yourself in, but the days of the traditional 20% down are long gone. You do not need 20% down to buy a house. Now, if you don't put 20% down, you will be paying something called PMI, or is it MIP, or is it MIB, men in black? Oh, I don't have my glasses. Uh, we'll just stick with PMI or MIP. PMI is private mortgage insurance. What that basically says is because you didn't put 20% down, 
you have to pay for insurance every month to cover the difference of your 3.5% to the 20% down. Not a big deal. PMI, it fluctuates on where and what and what property is, but it's between a half a percent and two and a quarter percent. And that's today. So bear with me if that changes per year, the price of the house. So price of the house is $100,000. It could be as little as $500 or as much as a couple of thousand dollars per year for the insurance. So a couple hundred bucks a month, usually averages between one and $200 a month. Works if you wanna be a homeowner. Now you can have the PMI removed after a certain amount of time. That's only with a conventional loan. I know the, the rules are crazy and things change all the time, but we'll keep you up to date. And I will keep you reminded as we do with all of our clients that through the years, we can get rid of your PMI for you within time and within the, the right context of the actual loan that you have. Speaking of the loans, now these are 30 year loans, but you can get a 30 year loan and I'd be happy to tell you how you can turn a 30 year loan into a 20 year loan without paying anything extra. Well, you have to pay a little bit extra, but it's a little bit each month. We'll do another video on that. All right, so with the average price of the home in Pennsylvania, right around 200,000. Now, it depends on which website you go on, depends on who you ask. And I'm gonna tell you here, it's right around 187 to 193. So somewhere in that $200,000, that's in Pennsylvania. Now in the city, the average price point, depending on where you go, right around that $250,000 point. But you've seen from our videos, we can get you beautiful, beautiful houses for 180,000. We can get you some wonderful condos in that half a million dollar price point. We got luxury for you as well and great rates on all these loans, by the way, into the two and $3 million range. So the average being around that $200,000 price point, if you're gonna go outside of the city, the averages in the counties are in the three and 400,000s. Montgomery and Chester County are right around that 330, between three and 400,000. They're right outside of the city. So is Bucks County and Delaware. Now Bucks County is on that higher side too, right around 300,000. Berks County, which is about 45, about an hour from the city, is actually has the lowest average price point of 250,000. I'm giving you an idea, but in any of those areas, I mean, we could get you 20 minutes outside of the city and you could pay around $150,000 for the house. Now, as you leave our fair city, the taxes go up. I can guarantee that your taxes will go up. So check out our video on taxes, check out our video on tax abatement, but I hope you found this video helpful. If you wanted some more information, comment that down below. Hit us up with your questions. We're gonna get them answered for you. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you found this informative. I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert here, your local information expert. Me and my team are here to help. We're glad to do it. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, send me a fax, send me a letter, send a carrier pigeon, or just yell out loud. And I'll be happy to answer. Hit that subscribe, hit that bell notification, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.